on the court. Her seven double doubles have helped the women's team get off to their best start in 30 years. And Amani Boyette joins us in studio now. You said it was tough to set out the start of last season with the injury. How has it helped to be with this team this year, healthy through the offseason training and obviously with them for this remarkable start? I think it just helped with just trust. My teammates trust me a lot more because it's easy for me to come back and play a lot. But, you know, people were, like, upset because you didn't run with them, you didn't lift with them, you know. And not that they didn't want me to succeed. It was just, like, really hard for them to be, like, all right, I trust you when I haven't been in the trenches with them and been doing all the workouts with them. So I think it just built, built more camaraderie amongst us all. Well, last season, your team also started strong, winning your first 13 games, but ultimately finished with a 9-9 record in Big 12 play. What has been the change this year to sustain the early season momentum? I think we're all the seniors. We're just kind of all aware of what last year felt like, and it just was not a great feeling. And we got really got excited that we were so good to begin and kind of lost track of the day-to-day -day work and the day-to-day -day, you got to come in and win every Big 12 game that you can, you know. We, like, we're looking at the end of the season instead of focusing, so now we just kind of make sure, like, we just keep our head down. Whatever the record is, that's what it is, but every day we got to show up and go to work like we're losing. So you guys aren't even really talking about this start right now? Not at all. I mean, like, maybe we'll have a conversation every now and then, but normally the conversation isn't about how good the start it is. It's like, how do we maintain this? All right. Well, next two games are away from the Irwin Center, starting with Oklahoma State Saturday. How do road games keep you from looking ahead to the Baylor matchup next week, which is always a great matchup mm -hmm. between those two schools? Um, the Baylor game is always fun. Uh, everybody on my team pretty much knows everybody, and it's just a good rivalry. But, you know, you can't overlook anybody in the Big 12. Everyone's going to come to play every night. And Oklahoma State's a really good team right now. Brittany Martin is playing amazing basketball. So, you know, we just got to make sure we go to Stillwater and take care of business. We can't look too far ahead. Well, success on the court, but let's talk about what's going on off the court. For those who aren't familiar, you married Texas defensive tackle Paul Boyette this summer. How is married life going for you? <laughs> Well, we're actually coming up on six months, so that's nice. Um, Congratulations. Yeah, it's fun. I guess it, like, kind of blew by. It doesn't seem any different, really. I think it's just fun to have somebody always supporting you, and we can, like, relate to everything. It's just fun. Well, I really enjoyed the all-access feature that we did on you guys a couple months ago. Here's an excerpt from it for those that might have missed it, or maybe you forgot what you said about marriage then. I'm really kind of messy, like, a little bit messy, like, a little bit and he's a neat freak. Like, if you take a shower at 6 p.m. and you go get the mail, when you come back in at 6.15, you need to take another shower because you smell like outside, quote. She'd be like, I just took a bath. I said, you take a bath? At the gym. So how long was that? That's like a six o'clock. I said, come on, dude, it's 9.30. Come on now. He's ridiculous. <laughs> With those differences, as two people come together in a marriage, what has been the biggest adjustment for you guys? Um, he's still ridiculous. Uh, I think the biggest thing is just like you become very more like very much aware of someone else like he's always there And you just have to be more considerate of someone else like when I come home normally like he'd be on maybe like my fourth list But now that we're married, he's like one two maybe you just you just think about other people more so and you guys seem like you have such a healthy relationship so far You said you're missing him right now because he's not here in Austin with you. I know it's not fair. Where is, he right now? Where, where is he right now? Because I know that you've been encouraging yeah. to come back. He's missed one of your first games yeah, this year. Yeah. He's at home in Humble working out with his teammate Tim, working out. Every time I call, he's like, I'm asleep. So I really don't know if he's working out. But I don't know. I'm getting used to it. It's okay. But it's just fun to be married, you know? You got to consider people a little bit more. You got a best friend, like a built-in best friend. He can never get sick of me because we're married. So it's nice. <laughs> you guys are a really cute couple. I will give you that. Well, your teammate Brady Sanders got engaged this fall. Do you have any advice for her about just wedding in general or the wedding planning or just marriage? Yes, I've literally had so much fun, like, just watching her go through the process. Um, she's already been going wedding dress shopping, and I've been able to say, like, oh, I like this one, I like that one. And I've just been, I just basically told her, like, make sure it's your wedding. Like, do whatever you want and, like, don't fight over it. Because me and Paul got in the biggest arguments over the tiniest little details, and we're, like, we're marrying each other and fighting about this one day. And she was like, okay, I'll just take it in. And, like, it's just so fun watching her go through the process, and she's so happy. How close is this group? Because when I think back on your engagement last year when Paul Boyette did that in front of all of your teammates, it seems like you guys have really experienced a lot of the highs together. How close would you say this group is? I think it's finally to the point where, like, I'll probably call them in five years. 
I've been on some teams where I was like, I'll talk to you, maybe you, but I don't think I'll call you. And now we're kind of all just like, we're all really invested in each other. And some of us aren't really like as open as others are, but we all make sure like we're taking care of each other. And we just, everybody has their own little individual relationship with each other and everyone really cares. I love it. Well, before we let you go, in the event you see yourself pursuing a career in sports broadcasting, you know, obviously you've got the Longhorn Network here in Austin, but we also want to give you just a little idea of some of the stuff that we do going through some of the highlights. We found some highlights that we thought you'd be okay with going through. This is your brother, JaVale McGee, in his recent game. I know this was one that you said you turned on because you heard he was having a big one. Talk to me about his impact in this one. You know, well, JaVale McGee just loves to get up and play above the rim, and that's something Dallas has been missing, especially since Tyson Chandler has traded. And look at him, just gets up there and throws it down from J.J. Barea. He's always ready and always looking. Everyone's happy to have him. Look at him, making it eat, eating a little bit, having fun out there. And that's what we need in Dallas. Doing a nice job. And you said, <laughs> you told me before we came out here on set, you do enjoy having him in Dallas. You got I to love spend it. Christmas with him. And I just love having him down the street. And my mom is really the one that was the most excited because she lives in Virginia and she hated having to go to two different sides of the country to see her kids. So now she's like, I take one trip, come stay with me, drive down the street to see my son. She's just so happy. And in the event that like I go to the NBA and I go to Dallas or Paul gets drafted to the Cowboys, she'll lose her mind. Oh, I love it. Well, you seem exceedingly happy. Thank you for coming in and sharing some of that with us. Appreciate you stopping by the show. Thank you for having me.